Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video, Tuesday, March the 29th. Hey, it's cloudy. That's nothing new. And I'm telling you, it might be Saturday before the sun comes back, and we've got uh, some rain to deal with in the near term. Now, let's go uh, look out the window this afternoon with the Skycam shots. First off, coming from Tuscaloosa. That is looking east from the top of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. Off in the distance, you can see uh, Bryant-Denny Stadium. It's cloudy. The other side of the state, Gadsden, it's cloudy. Northern part of the state, it's cloudy. That's up in the Tennessee Valley. The Tennessee River is seen from the Skycam in Decatur. You see that new trough getting its act together west of the state. That's going to bring another good wet down here over the next 36 hours. And cool again today. The GFS Moss products have been horrible a good 10 degrees too warm almost every day for the last five days. They've been basically worthless. The NAM has been much closer. Uh, Birmingham at 56, Aniston 53 at 2 o'clock. I think the GFS had projected a high today of 68. So needless to say, we'll kind of reject that solution in coming days. And around the nation, it's pretty cold uh, for, for late March. I mean, you really have to go down to the southern tip of Florida and Texas and the deserts in the southwest to find any really warm air. And with all of that cool, stable air, there's no uh, real serious weather issues out there around the nation this afternoon. About the only issue is uh, back in the backyard here. That's a flash flood watch for the uh, county served by the Mobile National Weather Service office and also parts of South Mississippi for this event coming in here. There's the radar composite in areas north and west of the state this afternoon. You can see uh, rain falling over a large chunk of uh, northern and central Arkansas back into the Missouri boot heel and parts of western Kentucky. But things are quiet here now. Uh, in terms of the convective outlook, again, there's that slight risk for much of south Texas, Louisiana, south Mississippi, and southwest Alabama. And this is mainly for late tonight. Uh, this is in effect until 7 a.m. tomorrow. And no part of uh, north or central Alabama is involved in that. And then tomorrow after 7 a.m., the risk is well to the south and east much of North Florida and South Georgia. And on day three, which is Thursday, much of Central Florida in a severe weather risk, the standard slight risk. Rain for the next five days, valid through Sunday morning at 7. Uh, the heavier totals near the Gulf Coast. This is suggesting some three-inch amounts, and that's why we got the flash flood watch in effect down there. The amounts vary from roughly three inches at Mobile to about uh, uh, one and a quarter inch over uh, North Alabama. And we are fully expecting most spots to receive between one and two inches of rain between now and Friday. We'll check the modeling. We'll go straight to uh, tomorrow. This is 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. This is the 12Z GFS. There's the uh, uh, trough to the west, and we should see large-scale ascent ahead of that. The surface chart depicts a weak surface low near Baymanette, Alabama, tomorrow at 1 o'clock. And accordingly, uh, we're not really in the warm sector uh, be kind of cool and stable up here. Any uh, uh, active storm should be on the immediate coast. And there's the instability. There's a sliver through here. This is at uh, noon tomorrow, 17Z. But really the good values are down there in the Gulf waters. And again, there could be some thunder, but it would be more than likely elevated. And uh, widespread severe weather should not be a problem. All right, now Thursday, look at the trough beginning to carve out over the uh, east. A strong a bit of energy diving through that, and down below that, a, a surface low is over near Savannah, Georgia. But clearly, we'll be in the backwash. Thursday will be a cloudy day. There, there'll be some rain around at times. How much rain is up for debate? Probably just some light rain and patchy spots if this is right. And uh, the GFS is showing 62. We all know that's way too warm. Uh, the Tennessee Valley might not get out of the 40s on Thursday, and we'll struggle to get out of the low 50s around here. It'll be a very cool day. And then Friday, the trough axis is on by, and down below that, we've still got some energy coming down the back side of the trough. I still think it's cloudy, but uh, this run is not as wet as previous runs with the main axis of the trough off to the east. So Friday, cloudy, maybe a little light rain, but probably not much. And look at that bomb up there at uh, Boston, 980 millibars. Wow. It's like a blizzard up there, if that's right. 
Uh, we'll see how that verifies. But for us, the weekend looks good. There's Saturday. Saturday morning will be chilly, but uh, no freeze threat at all. We'll be in the uh, probably low 40s, maybe upper 30s. We'll climb into the low 70s, and Sunday looks gorgeous. The uh, air coming out of the south, upper 70s likely. We note that new Lee low developing over the plain states. It looks like snow for Montana and North Dakota on Sunday and maybe parts of Minnesota. And then Monday, now we have model madness next week. All of a sudden, everything's looking different. So confidence is not good. Now, instead of a trough being progressive and coming on through here, it hangs a pretty good chunk of that thing back over the southwest. At the surface on Monday, there's a uh, low over southern uh, Illinois and maybe some hint of a shower here. But uh, if that's right, it's going to be awfully warm. I mean, the thickness values would support mid-80s if this is right. So for those of you looking for the warm weather we had a couple of weeks ago, it's going to try and make a comeback Monday. But Tuesday, the trough begins to approach, and that's when a cold front comes in here. So uh, it looks like instead of Monday or Monday night being that uh, period where we'll see showers and storms, it looks like it could be on Tuesday. And the following day, uh, Wednesday the 6th of April, there's no trough. You know, the, the, the run from last night, the OZ run, had a deep trough over the east and some cold air getting down here. Well, forget that. It's gone. Just a weak northerly flow aloft, and there's certainly no cold air if this is right. We thought we'd check the European. Uh, this is Wednesday of next week, and it's uh, much different than the GFS. It's got a deep surface low right over Alabama with the big storms off to the east. But still, it doesn't show any cold air either. So based on the new runs, the chance of a run at some frost or a freeze middle of next week is lessening at this point. And we'll check the uh, end of the forecast this April the uh, 12th. Look at that trough forming. Cold front coming in here. Following day looks pretty brisk, but the statistical odds of getting a freeze out there at mid-month in April are very, very tiny. We only had a handful of those on record here going back to the 1800s, and the uh, NAO goes strongly positive uh, which would suggest odds of any freeze. Well, once we get past the middle of next week, that should be about it for this season in terms of freeze threats. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by uh, 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham. <laughs>